This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we are still looking at the new Get Famous expansion pack. EA was so nice to gift me a pre-release key so we can look at it together. And this is me, the first time in build mode in Del Sol Valley. I just moved in the Kaz testing family in here. And yeah, this is the Sol Valley. It, we have summer, I think. This is why it's so dizzy. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if it's like this all the time. But yeah, it's basically Los Angeles, I think. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like this water park. I guess I'm going to, or like this playground. I like that one. That's really cool looking. And we are not going to look at terrain tools because I still have to check that out of the from the update and stuff but i uh, definitely going to check out the stuff that we get from build and buy mode so i want to do build mode first so let's slap in a huge square here and maybe something for a porch like that and maybe another like that also i don't know um okay let's see um foundations let's raise the foundation where's where's my foundation it's gone? Is it gone? There was a foundation here first. But yeah, there are new foundations, but I want to help. This is not going as planned because of the terrain tools. Yeah, help me please. Terrain tools is here. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, and then there's flatten, right? Oh, this is super... Wow, this is really a lot. Uh, not so much, please. Oh, wait, there. Uh, can we just... Ah, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I need to build up here and then it makes the foundation automatically okay this is how it works okay uh, then we are going to do it like that so we have a foundation okay there we go fixed it sorry guys I'm still new to this like I said I just popped into build and buy mode and wanted to look at stuff okay let's look at the foundations first so we have a wooden one and I really can make it lighter, like there's not so much light, but yeah, the wooden one and that's basically it. Okay, uh, do we have spandrels? No, so we're going to take the base game one, so just so I have... There we go. Uh, okay, so there is new floors. Uh, let's go to everything and then filter by packs, I think. Okay, we have a wooden floor. Wait, let's turn off the grid. Oh, that looks kind of like an industrial floor. I like that one. There are different swatches. All right. And then we have this one. Oh, this is like the Walk of Fame kind of. Oh, that's cool. There, oh, there's even red. So we can, you can make like a red carpet kind of thing. Okay, interesting. And blue. All right. That one is also a pavement. Lots of pavements here. Then we have a new marble floor. Oh, wow. Oh, that goes well with the new wallpaper that I've already seen in the pink marble. Like really crazy kind of marble texture, which I like. This looks like a new pavement as well. Or is this metal? Maybe it's like for a spaceship or something because of the new... Yeah, I think so. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe for a spaceship or something crazy like that. That could be cool. A new pavement. Lots of new pavements kind of th things. And another pavement. Interesting that we got so many pavements and that's it. No tiles. Only wooden pavement and marble. All right. Check. Let's put uh, wood here as well. Just so we know. Uh, let's look at doors first. Um, all of them. Uh, maybe we uh, make this higher. Okay. So there's a new door. 
a this is a three by three door looks like a two by two and it's modern i really like that this goes well with the base game stuff that we already have and i think it even has the same color swatches i'm pretty sure it has there's some new ones as well so that's cool and then we have the same one two by two which is really a two by two but look it's like almost i really like it it's really tall though you can only use it on the tall Oh, this is like the bouncer kind of thing. Upscale VIP exclusivity archway. You want a venue that will allow anyone to a point. Oh, you, of course, can have the rebel annoying your celebrities. They need a place all their own. So this is a VIP entrance. This is cool. And there are different color swatches here with gold and pinks. And, you know, the same color swatches we already saw on the pavements and stuff. Then we have... Ooh, I like this door. This is beautiful really cool like that one and then we have wow we have so many and then we have a three by three door that looks like a three by three door like for these as well so it kind of has this it's the same oh I like the black and white one that's cool okay let's get rid of them and see then we have ooh. so this is their different sets so we have these as a set and then there's this one as an exclusive, exclusive, the exclusivity door, <laughs> as well. That's cool. Here you can see like the different color swatches, just really interesting. I really like this. Looks more Spanish with that color swatch. This is Barbie. Then we have the Goth Vampire Dream Home. Okay, interesting. I like these ones so far a lot. I can see these are totally. The two styles that you would go for it you build a modern house you go with them you build something that is maybe last century or golden era uh you know like hollywood or spanish then you go with that one it's really cool i like this then we have a keep out kind of note door movie studio door okay we have a movie studio door Different color swatches here as well. Oh, with a star that has a star on the other side as well. Mm. Or for dressing and for makeup. This is cool with notes on it. I like that. Then we have, I think that will look cool next to each other. Yeah, with a diamond in the middle. Damn, that's cool. It's a shame that they didn't put the diamond or like this part like in other colors as well. I think they missed that opportunity a little. That could have been cool, but I like the handle with the stars. That's cool. Another modern door. I think this is a very, yeah, it's a retro door. Yeah, it looks very retro and comes with retro colors, like lots of colorful colors. Interesting. Fits the, I think like this style of houses a little bit more in this neighborhood. And then we have the modern door, like a not so tall one as well, like for this whole set here, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm still not sure why to, how to use them. I think for like a bar or something, if you want like a VIP entrance or something, that would be a, the way to go. Biometric vault door. Oh, this is cool. You can make like a secret vault or something that's so cool there's only there's no color thing for this but this is cool i'm going to look at the um animation for this this would be interesting but yeah these are the doors let's go with that one because i like that one the most i think then go to the windows all Ooh, this is getting better and better then we have a whole set oh i love this set i totally love this set I want to use it right away <laughs> okay then we have more retro kind of things this is also a set and another one I don't have any I don't know where to put it make way okay so we have the retro kind of oh there are different color swatches here as well interesting yeah why not because we have wooden panel 
windows already. But this time we have like colors, color swatches as well, like with blues and reds, which makes it more interesting because we don't have that with other objects in games. So I totally like them as well. But still, those are just beautiful. And then we have this one. This is a really tiny one. Yeah, a modern tiny one. Goes with the same color swatches as the base game ones as well. That's cool. All right, so we got that. Um, let's go to. Then we have different flower pots, like yeah, flower pots thingies. And different colors, but the flowers don't change. Just the colors of the wood. What's that? Wall brace. This fully functional wall brace is perfect for keeping set pieces from. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. You can make this like behind a set piece or something. Interesting. <gasps> oh. Oh. Can I put this over you? No, I can't. But still, it's beautiful. Maybe like over a... Oh. Oh. This is cool. I like that one. Okay, so we have like an awning, I would say. Interesting. And a balcony as well. Oh, fancy. Fancy little fucker. Interesting. With the same color swatches we have for these kinds of doors and windows again. Interesting. I like that. Okay, what kind of columns do we get? A concrete column. Okay, just wanted to protest here because it looks like the outdoor retreat column. But yeah, okay, these comes in the retro kind of color swatches here as well with the blue. But not the yellow and the red that we have from the windows, which is weird. I would have liked that more. Then we have another like craftsman's kind of brick column here it's called. That go more with the yellowish tint as well and the greenish and then the bricks also change okay okay and ooh, we have these ones I've seen this in the trailer like for the fancy for the fancy stuff and also comes with the color swatches that we have through the um, these kinds of you know windows and stuff okay so they kind of balance a lot between normal income i would call it and oh so we have little markers that you can put around in different colors even oh there's green that's cool so you can kind of force your sims to be on their line and stuff we have a modern sheer glass very modern um, fence and it's illuminated oh so it glows in the dark <gasps> it glows in the dark that's beautiful really cool for modern kind of builds then we have of course the fence oh there's a llama on the edge that's so on the corner you have like a little llama that's interesting really cool I like that fence really beautiful and then we have for the gated community like a huge fence that you can maybe put outside to you know to kind of keep the paparazzi at bay, which is also really cool. I like this. Let's go for that one, just because it's so over the top. We have new stairs. We have... Let's put you here. Okay, this is made out of wood, I think. Lit... Oh, it's also shiny in the dark. Yeah, okay, so this is for the modern build and comes with... Very colorful. Oh, so you can change the light, I think. Yeah, okay, you can change the light, which goes well with the... I think it's even the colors from the... What was it? The Spa Day Pack with the light. They are like wallpapers that also light up. And then we have another... F stairs out of marble, of course, with marble kind of textures. Really nice. It goes with a fancy... Fancy stuff that we already got, like the fancy, the fancy stuff, you know. And then we have the light up uh, fence for the staircase, and that one with the llamas. I love the llamas; they are so cute, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate them 
after one or two builds with these <laughs> pretty soon but yeah these are special i really like the details though like i appreciate it that yeah shouldn't have been navas but anyways i see that the fountain is glowing so maybe you have something for the fountains yeah <gasps> wow wow what the frick wow if you've made it you can have this fountain there are little seahorses on this oh i know a youtuber and streamer and a friend of mine who will love this and there's yours on it. Stephanie from Simarkey will love this. Let's take a screenshot for her. <laughs> so beautiful, but like super over the top and tacky. So it goes well with the with the whole theme, you know. What kind of color swatches do we have? Oh, the same ones with the whole set. Okay, so this time at least they kind of went through the whole color theme they have planned, which I like. I appreciate if they when they at least do the color theme right. Um. Oh, there's a new pool trimming, so maybe we have to put down a pool first. Hello? Pool? Oh, okay. Pool trimming! Okay, which is also goes with a the marble floor then. Okay, interesting. With gold trimming all around. That's really fancy. Mm. What? Oh my god, my builds just got better. <gasps> oh, I was so going to use this as normal flooring. I mean, I, it's supposed to be in the in the pool. But then again, I use the base game pool decoration on floors regularly a lot as well. Why are there two of them? Are those different? Those are the same ones. Oh no, the trimming. Oh, the trimming is like fatter, bigger here and here smaller. I get it. Um, so I have to use that one here. Interesting. And if I want to go to that side, I should have taken the other one. Okay. Got it. Like that. Oh, this is so beautiful. What kind of... Are these the same color swatches? Yes. The gold trimming. And the pinks and... Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I'm so going to do something with that. Oh, man. Love that. Okay, let's get rid of the pool so I can see. We have a new gate that I can't place anywhere here. Okay, interesting. Um, wait a second. And maybe there so we can look at the gate. Still, please just get famous. Yeah, there we go. So we have the gate for the large fence that we just saw from that set. Wow, it's so detailed. It's like super tacky, but I can see like... Then there's the gate for the marker thing that we have. There are even two of them. Oh, there's a one by one one. And oh, you can make like a whole... um, Like labyrinth with that. Like a maze or something. That it's barely to see, but it would be interesting for... For gameplay, I think. Okay. Then we are off to... Is that the only one? Wait. Okay, there we go. So we have a stone kind of... Simply stucco. Oh, it's a stucco. Okay, interesting. I think this goes with the base game as well. Like, we have stucco in the base game, so we have, like, more detailed ones here as well. Then we have something that looks like spaceship again. Sounds... Of fabric paneling. Oh, this is for like a recording studio. It's fabric. So it absorbs like noise and stuff. Here we go. Oh, wow. I really liked it, but like this is too much. But I think like with really minimal kind of decorating for me, even this could be like a thing. Wow. So yeah, the marble floors. Oh, it's even shiny. That's beautiful. And we have like different... Wow, the blue one is like really... I see this like in a, in, a, in a nightclub or something because it's almost purplish. Really nice. And the pink one, of course. Then we have a beautiful brick. And a longer, bigger brick. In different color swatches. Oh, even like a blue one. Goes with the retro uh, windows and stuff that we have seen. Then exposed brick. Um, there's even a black one for castles, so that would be interesting. 
Oh, I like that one. I really like this one for old kindy old timey builds, medieval or something. Then we have shingles. Shingles full panel, yeah. Like they're not so tidy shingles. Let's see it. Yeah, let's look at them in the white mode. Um, yeah, I like this one. Like I see the darker ones being used like on a witch cottage or something. Don't know how they why they made it in here. Maybe for the roofing or something. Maybe you get like a new roof and then we have these shingles. Wait, is this the same? Yeah, okay, okay. I'm going to look at the them later. <laughs> Then we have the half shingles as well with stucco on top. Okay, interesting. Then we have and then sound stage paneling again, but these times it's little squares. Oh my god! Then we have these ones. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the vampires pack, but super polished. It's shiny. It's shiny and comes in the same color swatches as the marble one. If you can see here. What the hell? Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I had like a little notification that I pushed the shift button too much because I was switching all the time. Okay. And then the stucco. Okay, we already looked at that one. Okay, interesting. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Why is this here shiny? What's that? What are you? Glass paint wall trim. What? Add to a half wall. Oh, it's a half wall trim. Sorry, I started to record something for a short second. I can see. Okay. There's the trim. Ah! That's beautiful. Okay, so it's, it goes with the modern. Basically, the glass is always black. I don't know why you can't see it here. Like, the thumbnail is wrong. I think uh, we need to take a screenshot and show the devs that this is not, like, shown properly. So if you get this on release, it will hopefully be fixed by then. But yeah, interesting. And then we have roof toppings. Oh, we have a lot of them. Let's put a roof on that thing here. Um, really quick. Like that. And like that. Okay. There we go. This looks ridiculous, but it's just for testing purposes, of course. So there we go. Okay. Horribly ugly. Please uh, ignore. <laughs> um. So, get famous roof trims. Oh my god! <gasps> this is beautiful. What is it? Isn't it like a fancy full folly and ostentation decoration that sells the illusion of wealth and luxury? <laughs> yeah, it indeed does. Where am I going to put this? You can also put this like down on the floor. I think it's supposed to be a window. I don't know why it's not going to the roof. You know, it actually it should wander. It's weird that it's not walking up the roof. But then again, we have these ones. Roof duct standard. When controlling indoor climates, the bad air must go. Oh, this is a ventilation system. There are different things for it. I don't know why this is not. This is not yet. Now it is almost. I don't know. Oh, it's like a ventilation kind of thing that you can put on your modern builds. Kind of ugly, but it's like a nice detail to have. I can see this like on a caravan or like tour bus or something. And then we have this one. It's a spike. Gold finial. It's the spire. The spire with a Midas touch. A Simmer's touch. Such a cold finger. Okay. Weird Sims. Interesting. Of course comes with the same color swatches for... For these kinds of sets. You know, with the fans and the... Uh, and I'm pretty sure this one does too. If it would work. Yeah, it does. Interesting. I'm so sad that this is not working properly, but okay. Um. Okay, I think this is everything from build mode. 
Are there new plants? No new plants. And no new roofs. Oh, there are new roofs. A simple concrete slab. Oh, a concrete roof. So it's kind of for, for a studio or something as well. Okay, I actually thought they would give us more ceramic or shingles or anything. I actually thought ceramic because of Los Angeles or something, because of the style, but okay. Okay. Good. Uh, let's go to um, show all and then just the famous, get famous stuff. Okay, so we have a new bed. Oh wait, we are running out of money. No. How much money do I need for the golden toilet later or so? I'm not sure. But yeah, I think 70 750,000 will be okay. So we have a new bed, a really modern one. With interesting color swatches. There's a black and pink one. That's interesting. I like that. It's yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but this is oh, this is really fancy for a castle again. Oh wow, they're called. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> a leopard print and a rainbow print. This is uh, yeah, over the top, definitely. Wow. If you want to build like a really tacky house, you can have the pink zebra bed. <laughs> I I just like the really white one. But let's go for the pink, I don't know, whatever it is, just so you know what's possible here. Then we have sheeps in a pod sleeping pods now. I've seen this in the trailer, I think, or... But yeah, they can have this sleeping pod now. Does this give, like, more energy? Discomfort will leave 5, stress will leave 5, energy 8. This is a 10 by 10 by 10 bed. This is, like, the best bed you can have. Wow, this is cool. Then you have another pod, and that's not as good as the other one. Forest of Dreams sleeping pod. Do they have different color swatches? This only has two. And this has different interior kind of color swatches as well. Okay. Why are there two? Why didn't they go like both together? Because they have the same um, stats. So that's weird, but okay. Then we have a leather armchair that goes with the horrible, almost horrible colors, but I like it. Okay, there's a golden one, of course. Let's go with a really co golden one. Um, a modern chair. I think this is like from the set from the from the bed. So let's let's go by sets. Let's go by sets, so we can see what's going on over here. In the sleeping pods, I'm not sure about this. If I need this, I think you have to test this in the in gameplay. But I like this because I will use this in alienation. I think because like a alien should sleep in something like this, so that's cool. Then we have another armchair from that set, I suppose. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go again. Still like a wow. Is there a rainbow option here? No, there's no rainbow option. Okay, let's go with tacky zebra gold. Then we have then we go back to the normal corner. <laughs> the normal corner. Um this is a nice chair. I think it's for dining. Yeah, it's a dining chair. Grandma's dining chair in the retro kind of feel. So if you don't have the bowling stuff pack which came with lots of retro objects, you now have Retro in your game with a get famous pack, so I like that because I'm not a huge fan of stuff packs in my opinion. Then of course you have the director's chair. Is there something on it, like on the back side? No. Shouldn't it say like writer, actor? They could have put like a, a symbol or something on there, but yeah, okay. And then we go have the dining chair to this set. I'm still sure I don't have to go through all of the swatches, but I, oh wow <laughs> is this better than the other one comfort 10 comfort 10 yeah they're both like pretty awesome all right wow this is uh, yeah it's so much it's kind of lots of fun i have to admit it's lots of fun but then again like in real life you would, oh my god this is like bad taste in real life but life <laughs> in the sims 
Then we have a hippie's bar stool here from that corner. Normal. The normal corner. Retro again. Let's go with a pink swatch because they all match very well together. Kudos to the team here, to the, the developers here. The bar stool of that. Um... Oh wow, I like this one because it has this roll. I really like this one. I think I'm going to use lots of the whites and like the, the normal kind of in other builds a lot. I like that, but yeah. Then we have a new... Uh, let's go with a future kind of corner here because I think these are like the sets there and themes they were going for. A gaming chair. I think because you can be a streamer now in The Sims, so that's cool. And like an influencer video YouTuber whatever. And a couch that goes with a retro style. Oh, I like that one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Le Corbusier or Bauhaus or something. In white it would be really cool. Oh, there's a black and white option. That's beautiful. You know guys that I'm a sucker for black and white, so... <laughs> then we have this monster of a couch. Let's just put this next to each other, so... Oh, really beautiful. It has at least pillows, so that's cool. Of course there's zebra. Okay, so sometimes even have zebra. Wow, it's so, so tacky sometimes. Wow. Okay, but I like this swatch, for example. Is that black and white one? Yeah, there is. Other... No. Other... Okay, not the other way around, which is uh, a bummer, but okay. Did I use that? Ooh, and then you have that one as well. A chaise longue or something, or whatever it's called. Really nice. Like that very fancy um and then we are at these here i think these go with that chair yeah okay um let's take that color swatch then we have a bench oh wow how refreshing <laughs> okay then we have a bench with um advertising on it i think this would be interesting for um you know the 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 lots like the community lots or something with like lots of um Advertising for movies and like a PC and headphones. Oh wow, look, there's flood on it from the Vampire's Pack. Llama! Llama man! <laughs> okay. Oh, look, it's alienation! <gasps> alienation bench. Let's take a screenshot of you. I like it. I already like that one. We are going to build maybe an alienation kind of lot where you can play alienation as like an alien and we play my let's play so that's uh, another retro I like that one because it has like a nice texture of the um, what's the name of it I don't know like it has a nice texture just take it as it is there's a two-seater for that tacky thing here oh my god I'm, I'm just going to put this Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. This is... Why is this not... Oh, this is the same. Okay, yeah. Okay. They're different ones. They're solid one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay. Um, Porn. It's kind of screams porn to me somehow. Then we have a dining table. Of course, a modern one. Let's put the chair here. I like that one. I like glass uh, tables. So that's interesting. Uh, another bigger dining chair for the up upscale. There is a pattern on it. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is exactly how I want my gaming um, table to look like. I want like a glass table with pattern on it because I've seen this on IKEA and then IKEA pulled it out of their sortiment or like on out of their catalog. Now I can't get this anymore. <laughs> I hate this. But I love this one. This is beautiful in white. Look at it. How beautiful. And then you can go tacky, of course, if you are up for that crazy colors. I like the white one. This is beautiful. Is there like a white with dark? No. Uh, dang it. But yeah, okay. I love that one. This is beautiful. Then we have a little wardrobe. Oh, it's a tabletop. Okay. Again, looks a little bit like experimental Bauhaus late 70s retro. 
different colors. Interesting. And we have another side table. I think this is for that set here. And excuse my boyfriend in the background. He is. I had to ban him out of, <laughs> out of the PC area because yeah, I'm reviewing it with you guys. But yeah, occasionally you will hear in the background. So that's interesting. Is there a diamond? There's a diamond handle. Wow. Tacky. Okay, then we have of course the table for that set. Let's go for that color swatch. I think you get like the whole color swatch because it's always the same. It goes really well together. There is the couch table in different wooden colors. And another oh, this is cool because this is super retro. I like that one. <gasps> That's cool. Beautiful. There are even more color switch because then the legs change. And of oh, wow. <laughs> but I can see these like in the nightclub. Like this little set, like the halfway modern but with the padding. That's interesting. And then you can also go with like the pink black one. Like for a nightclub, I think you can go really bold. But like in the house from I myself would only go with white or like only black or something. Yeah, interesting. It's um interesting. Well, I like that one as well. Would be cool if they could sit on that as well, but you can't, right? It's a table, yeah. Mm. Okay, then we have the coffee table for for those here. Let's go with the pink or purple. Um, what's that? Oh, that's from the retro corner. Let's put that here, like behind them. Oh, that's interesting. You can use it as a wall divider as well, which is really cool. I like if they are like kind of see-through, uh, not see-through, but you know, like that you can see through it. <laughs> and then I usually use them as wall dividers sometimes as well. Or like if you have like a huge room, you can use them. It's interesting. It's kind of for your kitchen because those are apparently plates. Nook's display, yeah. For me, it screams kitchen kind of a little bit. And then we have the same here as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I mean, it's nice that we have the sets. Let's just put it that way. I'm not a huge fan of these. I'm going to use them in white only, I think. Oh, this is beautiful. I really like them. Black and white, of course. Then we have, is this lighting again? Pristine pedestal. So you can put your art on there or whatever you find. This is very modern and it comes in only modern concrete. It's the same concrete as well. Then we have a sink for the retro kind of house. And we have the sink for the castle, <laughs> the Ma McMansion. Yeah, it's basically a McMansion set. It's really, I, I don't know if you're so much into architecture that you know the, um, there's the golden toilet that you know the expression McMansion, but basically a McMansion is just like a house that's pretending to be super like castle-y and like super big and, but it's just of poor quality and like mass produced kind of, you know, a lot that we see in the USA right now. Uh, oh, this is cool. <gasps> so beautiful. There's like a pattern on the side, but only on that side, right? Oh, there are different ones. That's interesting. I like that this changes as well. That's really cool. Is this like retro slash... Okay, there's the other one. This is a fancy one. Wow, it has marble, of course. Really nice also has this glass that changes like the pattern. There's zebra of course because we need zebra in our lives apparently. People wanted zebra, you get zebra. If you don't like zebra there's a lot of zebra. <laughs> get used to it. Oh there's a swan. How out of touch is that one? Wow that's beautiful like this is actually beautiful. Look, this is just beautiful. I have to admit that this one is beautiful. They could have made it really tacky like these ones and it didn't. I think this is like a really nicely designed bathtub. Like I don't see this like in real life, but it's just that that's just a beautiful thing. 
as it is. Then we have a modern one for the corner. Finally a new corner thing because we don't have so many of them, right? There's just one in the base game, then we have like one more through fitness stuff or so. Weird um, retro kind of colors as well, but yeah, let's just go with white or wait, let's go with that one. So let's see the colors watch here as well. Then we have Mix Master Music Station. Create your own tracks by mixing up some tunes. Oh yeah, there's a new skill which is called music producing or something. So that's for the skill. Let's put this on the streamer. I'm sorry, Fountain, you have to go away. Here in the streamer corner. Um, is there like uh, different color swatches? Okay, yeah, like not so many like the DJ decks that we have already seen through get together and stuff but it's interesting it's cool they have new skills so we have what's that crystal crown open your mind and spirit experience the powerful rejuvenation of crystals hover over any crystal to see a preview of its capabilities oh so now you can use the crystals that you collect and kind of put them on your sim on the crown or something and then it gives you a different aura interesting i'm going to use that in the alienation let's play like experimental stuff like that it's kind of like a helmet okay there's only one color swatch this is the stylist s station oh yes i'm going to build a salon this is going to be beautiful okay then we have different cameras i don't know if you can use them in real life like in your house as well Different color swatches of them. All right. Um, can you use them for skills? No. The camera may not move around. It doesn't give you any pluses. So I think it's just decoration. Stage effects. Is this going to put... Special effect machines not included. Okay, so there are no special effects. It's just decoration for your home lot as well but it's interesting to have so i can put this maybe next to i'm, I'm just assuming that it's not doing anything on normal lots maybe they can stand there uh, i'm not sure plumber pictures home special effects machine there's the special effects machine oh you can put this inside okay and then you can do stuff Oh, maybe you can control them with that, like with the special effects table then. Oh, that's interesting. I have to get into that. And then we have another camera. Oh, wow, this is huge. What is this? Yeah, I can't. I, uh, um, let's move that on, out of the way. Oh, it's like a dolly. Making movies dolly camera. Yeah, moving camera is called a dolly. I don't know why it's called a dolly. I just know it does. And then the camera moves. Okay, so this is cool like if you want to do like a whole set. Okay, back to normal kind of um, objects. There's a bar for the retro. Keep in mind that this has like the same uh, pattern of wood cutouts as the bad has, which is interesting. Really beautiful. I like that one. Maybe not in these bold colors, but... I like that one, for example. And of course, the tacky, the, ta the tacky, not 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 by technological, but tacky. <laughs> it's lit from under the. This is cool. Yeah, it's lit. Oh, this is cool. This is lit. <laughs> okay, I can see this like in a in a bar kind of a lot. Okay, then we have an old timey kind of looking bar, which is also cool, interesting. I think I'm going to use that uh, yeah, and more old timey kind of and then we have of course the big modern wow also lit of course at night yes and it changes color and has uh, this interesting kind of design that we already saw with uh, city living I think we have uh, some objects that have this kind of design which is beautiful. I like that one. This is a really beautiful bar. Then we have... What's that? <laughs> Wondrous wardrobe platform. Oh, so yeah. You, for the stylist, I think. The stylist can put their sims on there and then they get dressed. 
So it's kind of like a pedestal where they have to get up and get dressed. I think they don't have so many. Oh yeah, they have different color swatches that I can't see here. Oh, on this side. Okay, just changes that one. <laughs> okay, then we have a green screen. A huge one. What the hell? Okay, a huge green screen. Is there a red screen and a blue screen as well? No, it's only green screen. Okay. And a massive green screen. Okay, so this is... um. Yeah, let's put in move objects just so this is a really huge one. Wait, why am I move objects? Is this move objects on? Oh, should I put BB on it? Yeah, BB move objects like that. I think. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is huge. This is huge. But it's interesting to have. I think you can make like a really nice lot. Then we have for your tacky house, you have like a really beautiful kind of fountain decoration. Luminaris Exotic Water Garden. I saw this in the live stream of the devs. Wow, it's so beautiful lit. Wow, and there are different color swatches as well. Oh, and then the light changes as well. With different... This is beautiful. I really like it. I'm going to use this like in water parks and stuff. Wait, let's put this to the fountain because it, for me it's kind of like a fountain. There we go. Then we have flowers. Um, yeah. Different flowers with lemons on it. So that's for alienation as well. There are lemons on it. There we go. Alienation confirmed. Like now that I play Alienation, I just see Alienation everywhere. And there is a huge motorcycle going past my house. Thanks so much for polluting my video <laughs> with your noise. Okay, there are the retro color swatches, I think. Almost, I'm not sure. We have a picture. Pictures go here, please. That seems to be like a movie picture, Desperados poster. Yeah, let's put this on. Why is this flipping? Here we go. Different movie posters. Geisha poster. Oh no, this um, is basically like French. That's from the rainbow. Llama, cock, guy. <laughs> Alienation again, I like that. Um, cop, drama, void critters, ER, I don't know, Hunger Games? Um, a horror movie and racing movie and uh, platoon kind of military army movie, a vampire movie, boxer movie and Excalibur and Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, Treasure Hunter, what was it, with Nicolas Cage, something like that. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting, cool. Then we have some arrow signs. And another sign. Is there like a color swatch? No. Oh, we have graffiti again, finally. Oh yeah, and it switches to different graf graffitis. This is cool. Finally, a square picture. I love square pictures. I like them. With different art. Which is really cool. I like that one. And we have a huge kind of it looks like a painted on wall, painted on the wall. It only comes in that color. Why is there no color swatch to that? A Tupin wall mural by Claude. It's just like one. Oh, here we go. There are different color swatches after all. Okay. Weird, but okay. Then we have a round lit mirror which is beautiful and then of course a tacky one because we don't have enough of that already and we have very tacky old timey looking curtains we have already seen something like that from vampires um but i like this they also have like the crazy color theme i think from vampires pack so it kind of fits together which is nice that they kind of looked after that as well we have of course curtains Different ones, red ones. Where's the difference between that one and that one? Is there one? 
Oh, that is the higher one. Okay. Okay, different heights. Um, yeah. Should I say something about this? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Oops. Okay. And we have, of course, the curtain, like the bigger curtain. Oh, with sheer curtains in the middle. That's beautiful. What's that? Void Bob Volume 5. Oh, that's kind of like kids music or something? I'm pretty sure Void Bob is like, Void Bob is the most popular music with the kids these days. Only three CDs for the price of two. <laughs> okay, that's like the baby shark, but as a bunny. Then we have tools. Easy go tool set. Everyone needs a set of tools. Okay, so it's like a set of tools. Then we have a keeper of and stakra. So this is uh, from the from that set, I think. Which is interesting. You can put this next to the bed and make like an interesting looking or not. <laughs> Kind of behind thing next to it. I don't know. Then we have a big sign with a swan on it. Did we need something like that? I don't know, but yeah, goes with a tacky one here. Let's put this over here. Um, that's tacky as well. Goes over here as well. Let's, let's frame it. Um, I really am losing something to say about this. Oh, we have a we have a skull. Wow, a dinosaur skull with a T-Rex. That's cool, I guess. For a museum, this is cool. I actually wanted to build like a huge museum. And now I have something like a dinosaur because I didn't have a skeleton of a dinosaur. What's that? Cargo below rock. Okay, so this is like a crate. So it's like, okay. Here come the rugs. Okay, so this is an old timey rug kind of looks old-timey and washed out. Is there like a... yeah, okay. There are also fancy kind of feels to it. I like that one. There's a modern one as well. I like that there's a washed out option as well. Then we have the Void Critter cards. Oh wow, this is like a cha shape-changing rug as well. So we have the Llama Man, Unicorn Girl and Cock Man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child sometimes. Then we have the markers on the floor, which is interesting. I like that, that it changes. I don't know where to click. Okay, there we go. And we have a, oh, that's so cool. That's cool. I like that rug. I like rugs that change. And I like rugs that can be used like that, that you can put them together. It's a huge circle. Can be handy with the. Uh, oh wait, what did I do? No, I clicked on it. No, show all. And then filter by get famous, please. Hello, get famous. There we go. Um, I lost it. Okay, there's another another wall decorations. I think we are now. These are royal artifact display. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm and it changes. Oh, this is beautiful. I like the guitars, of course, because then I can make like rock star kind of builds with that. Kind of make it little. Then we have the wall dividers that we already have from Get Together. Again? Why? These have different color swatches, but lots of them are similar. Then we have modern stuff again here. Oh, no, no. Oh, these are shells that you can put on a wall from the tacky kind of display. Oh, and then you can put this maybe in there. Interesting. Okay. So you can make like a whole ornament with them. Hmm. Like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, the wall dividers. I mean, we know them from the get together again. So. And that one is from Dine Out. I think they are repurposing stuff here. Is this. um? 
Oh, is this supposed to be on the wall? Ah, okay. So this goes on the wall now. This is interesting. Is this going to be on the wall? Yeah, you can put this on the wall as well now. Oh, the, so it makes stuff easier. It's not really a wall divider, um, but you can put it on the wall directly. Okay. Then we have some swords that you can put there. Is there something? Okay, it changes color. There we have the... What is this? Oh, it's like a sign. That glows at night. Okay. Is there different color swatches? Yes. And different patterns as well. Cool, like it's a cinema sign. Okay, cinema sign makes sense. Then of course we have again movie, void critter. I mean, I mean we have seen the posters of that. Alright, okay, makes sense. Then of course more nerd stuff, more nerd stuff like props for movies. And it's another cinema sign. <gasps> This is cool. Why is there not a like working cinema? I think it's official. I have to build a cinema now. Then there is more props. This is the rainbow kind of thing. I'm pretty sure you want to see the color swatches. There we go. Okay. This is a wall towel rack. Oh, is it? No, it's not. Hey, you can put this next to your toilet, like a golden toilet. There we go. I'm not going to show you the swatches. What's that here? I'm losing my patience because it's so much. What's that? Ship balustrade. Oh, it's for a ship. You can for a ship. Okay, so this is kind of like a like a, a prop again. Okay, so it's like divided by tacky, retro, futuristic streamer stuff props and like set cameras and stuff and yeah that's like the basic um idea behind the different sets i think then we have washing detergent we have herbs or perfumes biochemical medical the medicine just prop okay so like then we have um stuff for the floor so it can make like interesting Pavement stuff. I don't know. I don't know if you if they can stone road small. Yeah, it's like oh, it's a prop again, so you can put this on the under it or so. Okay, storage card again. That's like a set design thing. So I'm going to put this over there. Like three different swatches. Then we go to the props again. Barrels. I'm going to put this over here. The barrels. I like that. I mean, I can see this. I can only has this color swatch though. I can see this stuff being used in, um, this is re retro, I think. Just a wall divider. Oh yeah, that's retro. It has the same color swatches. Okay, let's go over here. I can see this being used like a medieval country western kind of build. So that's interesting. Another pavement. What's that? Captain Story. Oh, this is for the ship again. All right. Another storage card, or what is it this time? Card of video equipment. So you can put this next to the camera and kind of make sense. <laughs> card of lighting equipment. And we have another prop. It's a bell, which I like. There's so much still. Oh my god. Then we have multiple canvases which is also like from the prop department kind of aspect so that's interesting okay cool what's that that's a huge sign does it light up no it's not lighting up so that's a prop catwalk light oh it's a catwalk light then we have different props of the freezer bunny is there a different no Freezer bunny, then that thing from the parenthood or kids room stuff, Meduso, um, a gateway, uh, another catwalk thing, <laughs> it's so weird, like these are all the props. Oh, okay, so this is um, basically like, um, like stuff for a spaceship or something, if you want to build a spaceship, that's interesting. A huge toy box, oversized toy box yeah these are all props this is for the ship again um, 
keep in mind that I've already built like a ship with all this stuff, so I, you actually don't need this, but yeah. People don't want to be creative these days, I think. This is cool, like with the whole ship thing. I like that. Ooh, nice. Another prop. So many props like that you can put on in the background. Oh, there are like sims in there. Like costumes. That's really cool. It's interesting for machinimas, I think. Like there's so many um, different space kind of props, which are really cool. Then you can do like rainbow land. Man, that would be so cool if you can like record stuff as well. Like, I mean, by real, like in game, like not with OBS, like I'm doing like for YouTube or so. Make it easier for other people as well to record stuff because I always encourage when people do stuff like this. <sighs> so many of them. And that, and a new foe. Oh, alienation! There we go. <laughs> Going to put this over there. And more spaceship stuff. Okay, I mean, there are little modules that you will figure out later. I think I can use them like in front of like a huge mall or so as well. This is where I can see them being used. But then again, on normal lots, it's a kind of lot. But then I like that you can build your own kind of backgrounds for your movies and stuff. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate this a lot. Um, but let's make way for other stuff. Another prop, like a saloon kind of thing. Another prop for the spaceship. I think we're going to see this like on the another dolly crane kind of camera. And new equipment. This is this time it's boot, boots and cat sound mixer. Oh, it's a sound mixer. Maybe I'm going to put this to the mixing one here. Royal balcony. Okay, so this is for the ship as well. So, I mean, there's lots of ship stuff. I see, I see, I see. Oh, there's a throne. Can they use it? Like, can they sit on it, like, in real life as well? It would be interesting. <laughs> Me inventing new stuff again. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, lots of props. I mean... Uh, I'm not sure if I really want to show you all of this. There's like a cell kind of western world. I'm really using, wow, well, <laughs> yes, happy, happy Toyland and this one and maybe for a theme park. You can do like a rotten theme park or something. That would be interesting as well. Another ship thing. Theme park or whatever. Yeah, interesting. Oh, this is normal. Okay, we are back at not props, so this is normal, a normal kind of lamp. Table lamp, so that's cool. Goes with the retro kind of colors, and then we have the fancy one as well. Oh, I like that one. This is cool. I like like the bold, big ones. But of course, like in colors like these. <laughs> More lighting for the studio. Different lighting with a soft box on it, different kinds of soft boxes on it, and different kind of lighting. Then we have like a torch. Medieval castle. Ooh, that's cool. I'm going to use that a lot, I think, in my castle builds or something. Then we have these for the retro kind of thing. Really small. Interesting. And then, of course, there we go. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, it looks like a flower that made out with a, I don't know, octopus and made this horrible thing, whatever it is. Yeah, okay. Then we have, of course, stage lighting. Uh, oh, red alert kind of lighting. That's cool, finally. Then we have Art Deco retro sconces and, of course, flowers and, oh, wow, these huge ones that you have in front of um, cinemas. Oh, is this is like a new monolith wall TV. Ooh, we have a new wall like TV. That's good. Maybe you can use them for um, 
cinema stand. Okay, we have a retro sound gramophone. Oh, I like it's an old one. Oh, that's really cool. Seen it in the trailer. Oh, look at this, so cool. This is our drone. Your Sims can fly with a drone now and record this and use them use that in their videos. So I'm going to put this to the video equipment. Another. This is a wardrobe. Oh, it's a bookcase this time. Going well with the retro as well. And of course the others get a bookcase as well because they don't they don't want to get excluded. There we go. There's a clothing rack finally. Oh no, it's all set together. I wanted to have like a fully functional clothing rack. Can you use it as a wardrobe? Yes! Or in the coffee at home. Yes, finally! Yes, yes, yes. I always wanted to have something like this. For walking closets and stuff. Um, another retro wardrobe commode. And a shoe. Ooh. This is going to be good. I'm going to build, I think, like a. Like a boutique or something. This is retro, so I'm going to put this over here. Wow, there's so much stuff. Like now the interesting stuff comes. I'm like losing my patience because the video is already so long. We're looking at everything, but yeah, I'm sorry. Just imagine a walk-in closet with that. This is going to be beautiful. Like that. It's tacky, but yeah, why not? <laughs> there is the vault. So your sims can have lots of money now. I, I mean, they could have before, but now they can put this in a vault. And put like all their stuff in there and dive like they could place their money in there that's interesting also have sex in there so wooing is possible and i think that's it already oh wow we did it <gasps> oh we did it oh my god it's so much stuff i have to admit that i like that all the sets even though like i s like some sets more than the others are all like fitting together like all the color swatches are really there we had this in past packs that some of the color swatches didn't like add up but i like this so we have like the retro corner we have the tacky golden hollywood age russian oligarch corner um that i sporadically like i really like the bathtub from that and i can see me using the wardrobe i think a lot and i really like the dining table and you know i like i see like different kinds of builds that i'm going to do this um for the retro, I really like the whites and like the wooden kind of things. I'm not such a big fan of orange and brown tones, which is very retro. Like in that time, lots of people had brown tones and lots of wooden paneling and stuff. So it all fits together, the whole theme. But since I'm not a big fan myself, I can only see like different, really subtle color swatches that I personally would use here. Um, yeah, the recording stuff and like the whole stuff for the movie set i can only see this being used for movie stars at home or so but then other than that you have to build a movie lot for that right and um, the whole props i think i don't have to add anything to that they are like different props i think that you can also build lots of them yourself with stuff that you already have but yeah why not lots of props um and yeah, um, I like that. And I'm also going to build like a cinema with the lighting that we have already saw. And uh, that's going to be interesting. So I think that's going to be like my next build. Because uh, other than that, what else should I do? Of course, with the Get Famous pack when you can become an actor. And then, you know, uh, you need a cinema to watch your own movie. So that would be interesting. So yeah, I really hope that you liked the whole review. It's so long. It's like over an hour. I'm so sorry. Um, I got distracted, but it's lots of stuff. So... In total, I really have to say I like all the objects. We get so many objects and so it's like a really huge, now it feels like a really huge pack because I thought we get a new world, we get so many new careers and with the update we have like the terrain tools and the stylist career as well. Like it's lots of stuff all at once and it feels huge. It feels huge for expansion pack. So I'm super excited and I really would say this is a really good pack overall because it has so much stuff in it. It's like worth a lot then <laughs> if this makes sense. So if you're interested in becoming famous and like the whole gameplay aspect, of course you have to get it. Otherwise you can't play with it. 
Um, for the objects, if you like castle, tacky, oligarch, Russian stuff, you go for it. If you want to have retro and don't have the bowling stuff pack yet, you have to get it. And like the other stuff, like the props and the movie sets, I don't have to add something to that because this is like what the whole pack is all about. Uh, interesting how these sleeping pots are playing at the end. I uh, like playing out in the end, but yeah, so far this is a lot, a lot of stuff. I really like it. It's cool. And um, I'm really excited, like looking at all the stuff. I came up with so many build ideas, like a beauty salon with the stylist stuff and um, a boutique and a nightclub and a museum and a cinema and, you know, like lots of stuff that I really want to do. Um, so yeah, this is really interesting. I really hope that you like this. Um, please let me know in the comments if you're going to get the Sims Get Famous expansion pack. Maybe you really liked something here. What is your favorite objects among all these objects? What kind of color swatches do you really like? And yeah, write in the comments. I'm really eager to discuss this with you in the comments. And I'm going to try to, let's just say try to uh, answer all of you. And yeah, thanks so, so much for watching. I really don't want to prolong this anymore. And I wish you a lovely day and see you soon. Bye bye.